Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you the booking process in iCargos. So I'm logged in as a super admin panel and um, you can see here in the sidebar the booking form option. I'll click on this. There are two options for booking. First one is for domestic booking. The other one is for international booking. So right now we will see only the domestic booking. Uh, he used first option is uh, uh, selection of the customer we as a as an admin panel as an admin user we can or the operation user uh, we will choose we can create the booking on behalf of customer uh, these customers are the people who are registered here in the business account if i click on this i will see all the business accounts here and all these people are showing in this booking form so we can create the booking on behalf of these customers all those these customers can log into their business account and they can create the booking themselves uh, but we can also create the booking on behalf of customer from this uh, administration portal okay so uh, the other other usage of this booking form is that if we have the front desk and the people are coming uh, people are visiting the, the front desk and uh, and requesting for booking and they are walk-in customer we can choose the walk-in customer this one account is for walk-in customer and create the booking for this uh, for this one okay so next option is the branch selection uh, this option is available only for the super admin uh, because super admin cre can create the booking on behalf of other branches as well if you have multiple offices the super admin can create the booking on behalf of other branches but uh, other people uh, for other people this option will be disabled okay um, he will choose the product the product can be anyone these products are, are created in the back end so in this system uh, we have created the uh, these products and the services are here so cod is a product and uh, let's say overnight is a service uh, and then the date selection time selection and here is the type of booking the type of booking is basically uh, it's a mode of mode of payment so invoice means the payment this the, this customer will make the payment through invoicing let's say we are making the payment clearance on daily weekly monthly uh, payment clearance settlement uh, based on the agreed settlement period so we we will choose the invoice since i have chosen the walking customer walking customer mostly pay the cash so i will choose the cash here cash means the customer is paying the the delivery fee in the, in form of cash so this amount will be cleared immediately when we are making the booking the third third option is to pay to pay means that the delivery charges uh, or the all the fee that that will be paid by paid by the sender so, sorry paid by the receiver so the receiver will pay uh, for this parcel when he will receive the parcel he will make the payment for for this these delivery charges which will be calculated on booking okay so let's jump to the booking process here we can see the pickup detail in the pickup detail we can choose the origin now we will need to fill the information because we will need to fill the pickup information because we are, we have chosen the uh, walking customer but if we will choose the other business accounts we, this information will be automatically filled so we will not we may not need to modify this information okay so uh, the the sender name phone email we can definitely change that uh, pick up address and the address okay and the delivery information is here we can choose the consignee information the receiver information receiver email that is optional uh, receiver phone that is mandatory and the uh, address we can also fill this address on Google map so this is an extra field to save the location coordinates of the delivery information we can choose the uh, the address on Google map from here okay uh, here we will uh, fill the shipment information special instruction this is optional uh, we can fill anything the reference number that is optional the number of pieces by default is one you can fill anything order id that is also optional it's a 
unique id that may the shipper may provide the weight based on the weight the these delivery charges will be calculated so <coughs> the pricing structure we have defined in the back end these these did these delivery charges will be calculated based on the product service origin destination and the weight you will fill here so when you will change the weight this delivery charges will automatically be changed okay uh, there is an option of the insurance premium let's say the type of the service is non fragile and uh, the, in, the declared value of the product is this so automatically it will calculate the insurance value okay and this is this percentage is also coming from the setting i will show you later okay uh, then we can enter the cod amount if the parcel is ca is uh, for cash on delivery amount you, we can fill the cash on delivery amount otherwise it's not required Here you can see the delivery charge is automatically calculated based on the product service um, origin destination and uh, the weight i have filled okay uh, special charges these are the other, char other charges these are, these are optional to fill if we if there are additional services like flyer and or other things the customer want to uh, have then we can check mark this and we can enter the amount okay so uh, let's say this service customer want to get or if we want he need extra flyer you can we can mark here and enter the amount okay so these are the special charges insurance premium coming from here if we fill this so total charges are this and then fuel surcharge we can uh, make do the setting from uh, for fuel surcharge is zero percent right now so it's zero here sale tax is coming from setting we can modify it so the net amount is this one okay it, here is an option of status selection and a checkbox or a small receipt print okay uh, these are optional to fill but uh, the status is pre-selected this status uh, we can choose new booking but since we the customer is uh, on our doorstep and uh, he is uh, giving the parcel on front desk so it is automatically selected parcel receiver to office okay so if uh, we have to pick up the parcel from uh, from his address from his location we can also choose new booked okay so this one if we will uncheck the uh, the label will be printed if we will check mark this then the receipt invoice will be printed i will show both show you both of the options if i click on this save and print i will create the booking at so here is the label print as you can see it it has three copies one two three uh, we can if we go to the setting in this setting we have option to uh, set the number of copies we want for the for this airway bill or invoice if we mark it one and save it and if we want to reprint this invoice we can simply go to view all orders Here we can see the order information click on view and this printout will take us to here to the printout so in this printout as we can see uh, the barcode is auto auto generated this cn consignment number is automatically generated uh, the shipper information is here the consignee information is here date service origin destination and the booking type is cash as i said I will choose cash for pay as a pay mode and then the weight is here okay uh, since is a it's a walk-in customer so for walk-in customer the the receipt will also print out the uh, delivery charges total uh, sale tax taxes net amount total receivable amount number of pieces that's it so uh, it also has the product information and special instruction and this information can be filled from setting it can be modified okay
so as you can see here if we go to view all orders we will be able to see the all the order information here uh, this is uh, customer uh, sender information sender name phone and here we can see other information this CN is automatically uh, generated date and time only on is uh, overnight the service short name 2 kg is the bait and this these are the delivery charges total charges okay and here we can see the consigning information name phone address uh, cash on delivery amount is if any origin destination and as you can see the uh, since i have selected the uh, pay mode cash booking type cash so this is marked as paid okay uh, if i click on this one i will see all this information i can click here to see the order detail all these details are here if i click on print invoice i will get i can uh, get the print from here i can even edit the order from here and i can even track the order so the tracking information is here and when i create the booking one tracking a log is automatically posted with this information parser receiver topics okay so this is the booking process for domestic booking if i go to the customer login if i go to the website here let me open the website and show you this the booking form from the customer login so if i go to the website i will log in my business account from here so this is the customer dashboard <coughs> the customer can see all the orders and all the statuses in the dashboard so i will go to create booking this is booking form the customer can also create the booking from this form so he will simply choose the product service origin there is an option here to choose the profile and he can create multiple shipment profiles from here let's say he's here from here he can create multiple shipment profiles and from booking form he can choose the shipment profile to fill this shipment information automatically let's say i've chosen this one so this information is automatically filled no need to change this information so the origin is the origin is the city uh, where the his account is created okay he can uh, also change that He will fill he can fill the delivery information here the consignee phone number that is mandatory this second google address is non-mandatory to fill but if he fill then the rider from his uh, rider application can uh, can track the uh, the shipment information the consignee information on google map easily through through uh, google map coordinates okay so here you will fill the item information the booking form is all all same for the customer login however some of the features are disabled like delivery charges uh, will be automatically calculated but he will not be able to modify since he is a customer and he will get these delivery charges calculated based on the uh, pricing settlement for his account okay so all these options are available in the backend so here you can fill the cash on delivery amount and as you can see the delivery charge is calculated because the zone is assigned for this one save and print so this label is generated he can simply 
uh, print out this label and uh, apply on the parcel this cn consignment number is automatically uh, generated and uh, uh, is barcode barcode is also generated so all the other information that he has filled is printed on this label okay uh, there is another option of booking uh, for bulk booking option in the bulk booking sheet in the customer bulk booking option is only available in customer login so if we go to here uh, upload bulk sheet he can download the sample sheet and uh, he can uh, fill the uh, data in bulk let's say 1000 parcel he can simply upload the actual sheet here and all the parcel will be booked in the system automatically on one click in the dashboard as we can see now here the new booking is created for uh, since i have created the new booking from his login and the in admin panel here we can also see the new booking is created from the customer login here if the admin click on this one all the nine parcels will be shown because this because it will show that this customer has created this booking uh, with this information and the status is new book and uh, all this information other information is here okay now the operation team can process this booking that's that is posted by the customer and uh, that process we will explain it in next videos